This country is home to the coconut crab, the world's largest terrestrial arthropod. Hello, welcome to Opentiera. In today's exploration, we're immersing ourselves in the captivating world of Samoa, a Polynesian paradise nestled in the South Pacific. Stay with us until the end as we uncover the unique facets of Samoa, where every moment is a celebration of cultural heritage and natural marvels, creating an unforgettable experience in this Polynesian gem. The independent state of Samoa, formerly known as Western Samoa, is a Polynesian island country in the South Pacific Ocean. Samoa consists of two main islands, Upolu and Savai'i, along with several smaller islands. Samoa is located in the Polynesian region of the Pacific Ocean, about halfway between Hawaii and New Zealand. Samoa's islands are surrounded by the Pacific Ocean and sit on the seismically active Pacific Ring of Fire. This location exposes Samoa to earthquakes, tsunamis and volcanic eruptions. Samoa has a tropical climate with consistent temperatures throughout the year, ranging from 24 to 30 degrees Celsius. It has two distinct seasons, a wet season from November to April, characterized by heavy rain, and a dry season from May to October. The climate is also influenced by southeast trade winds. Cyclones and typhoons pose a threat during the wet season. Samoa is dominated by volcanic mountains, valleys, plateaus, and coastal plains. The highest point is Mount Silisili at 1,858 meters on the island of Savai'i. Low-lying coastal plains surround the islands, particularly on Upolu. The islands have volcanic origins and are characterized by volcanic cones, craters, lava fields, and black sand beaches. The original inhabitants of Samoa are believed to have come from Southeast Asia and Papua New Guinea approximately 3,500 years ago. As of 2022, the population stands at around 222,000, according to World Bank data. Samoans are ethnically classified as Polynesian, with connections to other Pacific cultures like Hawaii, Tonga and Tahiti. About 92% of the population is ethnically Samoan, while the rest are European, Chinese and other minorities. The Samoan language is the native language widely spoken by the people. It is related to other Polynesian languages. In the 19th century, English became the official language due to German and New Zealand colonial rule. Many Samoans are bilingual speaking both Samoan and English. Older generations tend to only speak Samoan. Christianity is the predominant religion today, with followers of the Congregational Christian Church and Roman Catholic Church. Many Samoans integrate Christianity with traditional spirituality and beliefs like ancestral worship. Some Chinese Samoans follow Buddhism or Taoism, Church and religion play a central role in Samoan social and community life. Samoan cuisine reflects the island nation's abundance of seafood, tropical produce and culinary influences. Here are five iconic Samoan dishes that showcase the flavors of the islands. Palusami is a coconut milk-based dish made with taro leaves baked in coconut cream. It is often wrapped and cooked in taro or breadfruit leaves placed in an umu earth oven. The taro leaves provide a spinach-like texture, while the coconut milk provides a rich, creamy element. Fa alifu kalo is a staple Samoan banana and taro dish. Boiled taro is mixed with mashed bananas, coconut cream, and sometimes ginger to create a thick porridge-like texture. It is a common side dish with the sweetness of banana contrasting the starchiness of taro. Oke Iha is a raw fish salad made from tuna, snapper or other fresh reef fish. It consists of bite-sized pieces of raw fish marinated in lime juice, onions, tomatoes and coconut milk. The tangy citrus and creamy coconut 
perfectly complement the clean, fresh flavors of the raw seafood. The islands of Samoa have been inhabited for over 3,000 years. Samoa's location in the heart of the Pacific shaped its unique history as regional powers vied for control. Archaeological evidence indicates Samoa was first settled around 1000 BC by Lapita peoples from Southeast Asia, skilled in pottery and boat building. These skilled seafarers traveled thousands of miles, establishing Polynesian culture across the Pacific. Samoan society evolved into villages ruled by chiefs. The first European contact came in the 18th century with Dutch explorers. French explorer Louis-Antoine de Bougainville visited in 1768. More European, American and Tahitian ships stopped for provisions and supplies, leading to conflict and disease outbreaks. British influence eventually predominated by the late 1800s. Germany gained control of Western Samoa Islands through treaties and deals with local chiefs during the late 1800s. The United States secured the eastern islands of Tutuila and Manua. German plantations relied on imported Chinese labor, causing demographic shifts. New Zealand seized German Samoa in 1914 during World War I. Samoan nationalist mall movement protests led New Zealand to grant independence to Western Samoa in 1962, renamed the Independent State of Samoa. American Samoa remains a U.S. territory today. Samoa initially adopted a constitutional monarchy, but became a republic in the 1960s under Prime Minister Fiame Mataafa Faumuina Mulinu'u II. For centuries, the Samoan economy relied on subsistence farming and fishing. This shifted during periods of European and New Zealand colonial rule in the late 1800s and early 1900s, when plantation agriculture was established. After independence in 1962, Samoa modernized its economy by expanding tourism, financial services and agriculture. Remittances and foreign aid also grew in importance. Its GDP is around $870 million, according to World Bank data. Agriculture employs two-thirds of Samoans today. Major exports are coconut products, cocoa, bananas and fish. Tourism has expanded thanks to Samoa's natural beauty. Other industries include food and beverage production, handicrafts and automotive parts, manufacturing using imported materials. Only about 10% of the labor force holds wage jobs, largely in the public sector. The informal economy is significant. Samoa's main export partners are American Samoa, the United States, Australia and New Zealand. Samoa imports food and beverages, industrial supplies, and fuels mainly from New Zealand, Australia, and Fiji. Tourism generates spending by visitors from Australia, New Zealand, and the US remittances account for over 20% of GDP. Samoa aims to increase productivity, exports, and sustainable tourism to boost future prosperity. With Australia and New Zealand's assistance, there is potential for greater trade and investment within the Pacific region. However, realization of sustainable growth remains constrained by Samoa's remoteness and exposure to climate change impacts. Soccer was introduced in the early 1900s and adopted passionately by Samoans. Rugby union arrived during the 1920s under New Zealand rule and is now the national sport favored by Samoan men. Netball, another import, is the top women's sport. Other sports like volleyball, basketball, golf, tennis and cycling are played recreationally and competitively. Despite its small size, Samoa has achieved great success in various international competitions. Samoan boxers, weightlifters and shot putters have won multiple Olympic medals. Samoa's rugby team consistently ranks in the top 20 globally and competes fiercely with Pacific rivals like Fiji and Tonga. 
Many top rugby players of Samoan descent represent New Zealand. Rugby and soccer leagues operate nationally with vibrant local fan bases and intense rivalries between village teams. The main sports complexes are located in Apia on Upolu. Major annual sporting events include the Samoa Games featuring 12 sports, the Toila Festival Women's Rugby Competition and the Samoa Outrigger Canoe Association Regatta. If you enjoyed this video on Samoa, you'll love this next one.